Last year, I spoke to you about the enormous effort and sacrifice that you made that allowed us as an Air Force to achieve the level of success we did. That success is something we should all be proud of. This year, I have been even more impressed with your level of professionalism and dedication under what have sometimes been difficult circumstances. Throughout this year, tough decisions had to be made that affected all of us. Each and every one of you have stepped up and gave that bit extra to support our capability. Your efforts reflected the highest level of our core values and I thank you for that. This year has again seen Air Force achieve many milestones including the arrival of our 6C-17 and the approval for the purchase of the C-27 to further enhance our air mobility. We also saw the Wedgetail gaining IOC and the government made the announcement of the Growler acquisition. Our busy tempo saw us maintaining operational capability in the Middle East with C-130s, C-17s, Heron and Orions, and in our northern waters on Operation Resolute, while still participating in exercises like Cope North, Red Flag, RIMPAC, and of course Pitch Black. Pitch Black gave us the opportunity to exercise with a number of nations, including Singapore, Thailand, New Zealand, and the United States, and for the first time with Indonesia and their Sukhoi SU-30s. The exercise program also saw our P3s operating in Japan on exercise with the Japanese Self-Defence Force, and our KC-30s flew their first overseas missions in Malaysia and the UK. During this busy year, we were once again called upon to provide life-supporting assistance to our own civil communities in Queensland, New South Wales and Victoria. This support ranged from people filling sandbags in Sail and Wagga to dropping food supplies and providing aerial evacuations. We also assisted in search and rescue of Port Moresby and the Solomon Islands. All mammoth tasks that you delivered to great effect. 2012 also sees the end of an era with our C-130H aircraft being retired after 34 years of dedicated service. This is an achievement that all the men and women who work with the H model can be proud of. And of course our Airfield Defence Guards from Amberley have joined their fellow Air Force members in Tarancot, where the Aggies have assumed responsibility for base security. I was fortunate enough to visit the P3 crews before they departed the MEO, and just last week I was present at the consecration of the two squadron colours. Both significant events and just a small example of the numerous milestones and achievements for this year. With the end of the year rapidly approaching, I know many of you will be looking forward to some time away to prepare for what next year brings. Until then, I ask you to use the Christmas period to take a well-earned break. Go away and enjoy the time with your family and friends, you've earned it. If you're on deployment this Christmas, know that your efforts and sacrifices are very much appreciated. On behalf of myself and my family, I'd like to wish you and your families our very best for a safe and happy Christmas and look forward to seeing you all in 2013. Merry Christmas.